Hello buddies, welcome to Game Night Live in Battlefield Gothic. Is it working now? Info exited host mode, what the... Bloody hell. Okay. As always, we, uh, we need to have some technical difficulties. Um... Yeah, I wanted to do the empty. Let me just remove this for a sec. There we go. I I completely broke it. <laughs> As per usual, apparently. All right. So we should have game sound and my sound. So the Tau were just released, so we're going to take another look at them and play, play a bit with them. They are, uh, they are very, very efficient at long range. They have adaptive strategies, they have two to choose from. Um, they should be weak at close range, but at the beta they didn't seem to be very weak. Uh, although they have low hold points, so getting rammed is, is a no-go. And they have no lightning strikes, except for later on. But we'll, we'll get to that. Let me just activate this again. Here, my, my pretty, pretty face. Oh, and I wanted to uh, just uh, get to stream, uh, stream tip here. Because I found out. I have another $33 to put in the pool. So I, I just wanted to put that in live. Game night plays. There we go. Uh, game night. Uh, 33 birthday bucks. And I can test the alert then. Thank you very much, Game Knight, for that donation. Why is it putting in both? There we go. Remove you. <laughs> oh, you guys didn't even see. <sighs> Hello, Booscore, and welcome. Oh, seriously? I kept my greater good night. I thought they removed him. Hmm. I think we're going to do a new Admiral, though. Even greater... Good night. Good K. <laughs> Even greater good K. Good sir. Why is my game not in full screen here? Um, yeah. So, Windows just updated. And... <sighs> it's just uh, really, really odd. Is the mic working? I hope so. Multiplayer or no balls? <laughs> no, we're gonna. We're just gonna do a normal against some AI. Let's rip them a new one. Good. I wish that the game would uh, windowed full screen windowed windowed full screen. Let me go full screen. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I just killed the game. Sorry, guys. I haven't booted up uh, Battlefleet Gothic before now. It's still on your screen. Let me just remove my stream goal. 68 though. 68 bucks so far. And... Battlefleet Gothic did not like that. 
at all. What? Uh, no, no, no. I'll get it working. I'll get it working. Just being a bit uh, like a crybaby. So, cheers to you all. Starting as per usual. Because it doesn't want to uh, expand the window, fully, and I have no idea why. It's gonna make it a bit harder. So I hope that everyone is all right on this wonderful evening <laughs> of the Tau release. Okay, there we go. Options. Nope, window full screen apparently now um, makes it so that so that the game ah, because window windows updated and now it's showing my bottom bar. So I need to hide the bottom bar. Lock the taskbar, automatically hide it. Thank you. There we go. Now I can see everything as well. <sighs> Even greater good night or good K. This makes us able to like Take a look at the ships one at a time. <laughs> Window mode full screen. That is bonkers. All right. Um, so this is the Tawa ships, like little little uh, flat ships instead of the bulk ships that we see uh, with the other races. They start out with the messenger. And they have rail guns. Rail guns, a um, bit like lances. Uh, critical hit can cause temporary or permanent critical damage. The Tau has Tau accuracy, which is pretty normal. Tau maneuvers, which is also pretty normal, but they can't do the, um, um, well, the, they can do the special maneuvers and quickly turn the ship but some of their mercenary ships can't do that. We'll see that later. Faith in the Tawa. So chance at insubordination, 30%, 12%, and 3%, or escort ship losses. I think that's pretty standard as well. These are escort ships and uh, tracking system. The ship can retry a failed defensive turret accuracy test against every ordnance. That's pretty cool. So the uh, messenger, they have 5,000 detection range and a hull integrity of 100. That's not a lot. And we have a shield of 100 and speed of 188. That's pretty fast. 150 on this one and hull integrity of 200. They have railgun batteries, which has two attacks and 12 damage, pretty decent. Then we have the Castellan. Let's take a look. Sweet. 200 hull, 100 shield. The Niskar is um, it's a ship you can get via skills for your light cruisers as well. Hey, Attila. Welcome to the stream, buddy. It's good to see you again. And the Prowl Railgun. I hope that you guys can hear the, the sounds in the game as well. As as my voice, I don't I don't know how how well it is. So the warden is one with a prow railgun ninety, 
and 270 degree front ion cannon, which has armor piercing and heavy damage. That's pretty cool. Niska Dao is actually not a Tau ship. Really? That's why it looks a bit different, like a, a, a an assault boat. Nice. It should be, Muirs. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Let's add uh, a couple of ships here. Shall we? I hope that everything... Um, yeah. So we can bring the uh, Emissary Borkan, which has 400 hull, all of them do, and 100 shields and 150 speed. So what they have is the um, Gravitic Hook Warden. So they get a free Warden Escort ship. Uh, actually two, two free ships they bring with them. That's pretty, pretty awesome. The Gravitic Launcher is homing. Uh, it's their torpedoes. So they home in at the uh, enemy ships. That, that's freaking awesome. And this one has twin heavy railgun batteries, eight of those. From what I gather, last time we played this, they seemed a bit OP. Um, that hasn't changed much, from what I gather from the uh, patch notes. But we'll see once we get in. This one, uh, the uh, Dalith, has the Ordnance Launch Base, two of those. I. Some of you guys know me, and you know I love this Ordnance Bay. And it has Gravity Cook Warden Escort Ship as well. And also has two twin heavy, or oh, eight twin heavy railgun batteries. So it's basically, instead of the torpedoes, this one has launch base. And Emissary Sa Shen, which has torpedoes. Six twin heavy railgun batteries and two ion cannon batteries. That's a lot of firepower. I want to bring one of these guys. I want to bring one of these. Um, maybe. I mean, we can get so many escort ships just by by putting in an extra emissary Bokan. Because they are going to build a bit similar. 8, 8, 150. Oh, just nearly the same. Let's pick one of these. One extra. So we have the Heavy Seeker missiles on, on that one. That's pretty awesome. Skills. Um, the only different skills they have are the where is it? The gravity wave project projector, which can push back ships in a forty-five degree cone angle. Cone angle, degree cone angle. Or, uh, and they can get repair drones, which can heal ships in the ship's radius by one hull point per second. It's a very, very low radius, so you need to keep the ships well together. Uh, void shield, we know. Recon, we know. Auger probe, we know. And they have the microgravitic jump as well, which is just a micro warp jump, basically. So I want one of these to be like a speedy one. Uh, this one, I want to keep at range, but this one we could definitely do some speed on, and this one we could definitely do the repair drones on, and this one will, what do we want with that? Uh, we don't have access to the other bombs yet. I never really used the auger probe. Maybe I should. Yeah, 